Hey, team man. writer here, and uh, I'm here with AJ, our movie writer, once more. And uh, our guests today uh, are D Amazing and Jay. Say hi, guys. What up? So we're here to talk about some common writer figures. But uh, before we oh, get yeah. started, just some housekeeping. We wanted to remind you guys. Oh, I hurt myself. <laughs> just wanted oh, to remind sorry. you guys that uh, we do have um, streams going on all week long. Uh, you know, you can go to our um, bluefinbrands.com to find out the schedule. It's also pinned to the top of most of our social media, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. Um, we're doing things all week long, leading up to the screening of Heisei Generations Forever on July 11th. Uh, we also have uh, some cool product bundles uh, for you guys. Now, let's see if I can do this without my computer destroying itself. Boom, there we go. <laughs> so <laughs> we have a lot of different Did it. We a lot of things you can buy, uh, both uh, Figure I Standard, uh, SHF. Um, we do have, and I, I apologize for not informing my uh, Kuga super friend. Uh, we have <laughs> the P5 Diet Soto Chronicle uh, Kamen Rider Kuga Golden Power Set. Uh, we also have Luminous Kamen Rider, which has Kuga and Zero One. Um, if you never got a Deno, we do have a few Denos left. Um, I don't have a deno, so don't don't be sad like me. Make sure you get yours. Um, we also have, oh, go ahead. <laughs> Hold on, people. Please get deno. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna show it off. Like I don't have one. He's gonna put it on the on the screen right now. I feel like I should. <laughs> yeah, like I think we should. All three of us should pull oh, all of deno, our oh, denos out. <laughs> yay! Oh man! Like, just go. Go. Oh, oh, tonight. Oh, sad face. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I have no deno, so please don't don't miss out. Make sure you get your deno. Um, we also have uh, the acrylic stands. Oh my god, one of which is uh, the deno acrylic stand. So yeah. if you guys want to get it, it works well with the SHF. It works well with anything really. I mean, if you want to put it on top your of your belt, diaper, yeah, you can put it on top of everything. You're good to go. And then you know, for uh, for those who are interested. We have a common writer apparel shop on Amazon. You know, please make sure you guys check that out. Uh, we've got t-shirts, long. Oh yeah, yeah. You wearing one of the shirts? We got long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, and the best part oh, is, guys. Back. Let me show you guys this, and uh, I'll use a. Uh, I'm gonna use my favorite this time. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna go with guy. So <laughs> what the? You can, uh, <laughs> you know, it's available in men and women sizes. Uh, and for people who are uh, larger Americans, such as myself, uh, 3X is available. And you can pick whatever color you want, which is amazing. Of course, I ordered one in black and orange because, you know, I mean, it's a guy. So, uh, we have but, one in banana. Huh? How dare they not have one in banana? <laughs> <laughs> I, that wasn't an option, but I was like, no, I don't like Baron. And I. Hold <laughs> oh, on. <laughs> Pause. But, uh, you know what? Now we're that's, have a, that's a discussion when we get to that day. Yes, yeah, so that'll, that'll, that'll be a fun discussion on uh, on uh, on Guy I Day. Going, I literally post barren pictures all of next week. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm no. going to tag you. I'm going to tag you. In. No, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to happen now. It's going to be just all, all barren all the time, right? <laughs> yep. Oh, man. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Right. That's when I'm going to get a t-shirt, man. Aaron was right. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. The record, he was not right. No, he not wasn't. Right. I mean, like, I mean, not spoilers. They, they, they showed he wasn't right. They definitively. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he was not right. He was not yeah. right. And it hurt for me to not like him because I'm, I like red and black. And he wears red and black, and I'm like, oh, I wanna, I wanna be on your side, homie, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyways, to figures. So you two are phenomenal figure photographers. And so we wanted to talk to you guys, you. you know, about how, you know, you guys got into it, you know, why you like common writer figures so much. Um, and so you know, and while we're talking, we'll, we'll have some images for, that you guys sent us. You just have a cat just it's on the screen. <laughs> he just... Came if you wanted to, so sorry. <laughs> so anyways, we're, we're going to show some of uh, your photos while we talk. But um, I'll start with you, Darius. Um, what got you in to common writer figures? Uh. It's not a long story, but it's a very quick one. I was into Kamen Rider anyway because my brother introduced me to the Showa era stuff. And then uh, uh, being a New Yorker, we went to the Elizabeth Mall in Chinatown, and someone would literally have Kamen Rider on VHS back then. 
So at that time, I was watching literal Cougar on VHS because someone was giving it to me without any sort of dubs or subtitles or whatever. I was watching it with no context and joined the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, you know, here we are. We jump forward nine years later to Kamen Rider figures. I found out a store near me, Image Anime in the City, was selling Kamen Rider figures. And I said I had to buy some. And the rest is history. And that was 20, oh, wow, that's a decade ago. Actually, almost oh. Wow. Nice. Nice. OK. I mean, as you guys can see on screen, uh, he takes some uh, really good photos with these figures. Like, and I, I, I say this one for last because, you know, I'm, I'm a little biased. <laughs> so, as you see behind Bias. me, the Tower of, the Tower of Diza. The Omen driver is just to top all other drivers. Hey, I included that one just for you, actually. I, I that appreciate that. I feel like you should have an Omazio figure just waiting. I, think it's I am. There. I am working with my my good friend Darius here on getting one eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely. Uh, so let's go on to uh, to you, Jay. How did you get into Common Rider figures? So same same with uh, same with D. Uh, I. Well, I started Common Rider uh, with Saban's Mask Rider. So I, everybody has their opinion about it, but that's when I was a kid. That's what I watched. And then later on, um, True. I think in high school, uh, I watched watched Decade, and I got back into it. And then I think around, like, 2017 is when I started buying uh, figures. Uh, I had an eco town when I was in Hawaii, and uh, I, I got a Tatuba... SHF figure arts. Granted, it was the old one, but for its time, I thought it was really cool. And then I just went from there, and that's when I found. That's how I found D. Everybody else on Instagram, and it just grew, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely a, a childhood. Plus, I'm an adult and I have money now. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's how I started. It's very funny you mentioned the old O's, right? Because I have the new one. I have it, Matarata combo, and I was explaining in my reviews just how far we've come with these figures that we can actually do the combo changes now. With oh, them. yes. Like, yes. I don't think people understand just how dope that is to be able to do the combo change. And like, I have the purple eyes head combination, like, cause it comes with Lata Rata. So they're trying to include cool stuff like that. I just, I feel like that's so cool. Yeah, oh, definitely. definitely. So I, I actually had a quick question for you guys now. I, I've seen this hashtag around and maybe, you know, for people who are watching this who are new, which is, you know, the target for this whole week is to get new people in the Common Rider. Um, can you explain a little bit about what the hashtag Justice for Common Rider is? Uh, well, actually, I didn't, I didn't I didn't start it. I was actually Jay and Metallics XD over on Instagram brought it to my attention because they were saying how Rider fans don't get enough credit here in America because we talk about the toy community a lot. But we have a lot of people who literally will, you go by visually what you know. A lot of people hate on things yeah. that they don't know. So with Common Rider, you notice yeah. that you get less likes because it's not the new pop culture thing. It's not mm -hmm. here Correct. like a big thing like superheroes here in America. Meanwhile, the photos are just as good, if not better sometimes. Yeah. So we bring basic awareness to, hey, this is, this is what it is. We want you to understand this is why we like this. If you don't want to give it a shot, that's cool. But don't disrespect it. And we're here to defend the things that we yes. enjoy. Yes, definitely. Yes. And you know, th 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 this this whole week, you know, we you know, we, we've been saying, and you know, we'll keep saying till weeks over. This is the opening ceremony for Common mm -hmm. Rider in America, guys. This is this is uh, this is the the tip of the spear of us getting official support from both Bondi and Toei. You know, you guys have done, you know, the fans. You've all done a fantastic job, you know, showing up. You know, since Team Rider started um, a little over a year ago now. Uh, and you know, we ask that you know for this week, you guys continue to show up because you know the the eyes are on us. And, you know, I think you guys have shown that you're here, that you exist, and that you want to buy stuff. So, you know, please don't continue to show like that. <laughs> also, like, you know, we have both so of these beautiful. two here. And, like, you know, they do some really great work. So, I, you know, thank you to for you two to show up also. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for having I'm, us. Yeah, I'm super happy to be here because I've always I, – I have a longstanding relationship with you guys where it's – you know, we've talked about Kamen Rider all the time to the point where I got, I've now gotten David into it. You know, think about it. <laughs> For years, I've been telling David, try Kamen Rider. I'll get around to it. Try Kamen Rider. I'll get around to it. And I was like, hey, I need your help. I need your help now. 
So you know, <laughs> it's like, funny, I, need I, it. I used to I used to only have to worry about buying gunpla because that like that's my, my first love. And I used to be like, cool, all I gotta do is buy my material kits, my kit bashes, and I'm good. And then you know, I started getting the common rider and I'm like, well, there goes that plan. <laughs> <laughs> 100% Bandai baby. <laughs> Definitely. Um, but speaking of, of thanks, though, I, w- I wanted to give a little shout-out to you, Jay. Um, you know, yeah, if, if yeah. you haven't noticed, the, the schedules for all there's the one. events, um, they look really cool. And there's really awesome shots uh, uh, coming out of SHF. And these, these were all done by Jay. Uh, so I wanted to give you know you a shout-out. So if you see these images, follow, follow, you, follow, this, follow this guy you. for that because he did, he did great. <laughs> Follow and, both uh, of them. <laughs> appreciate yeah. it. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. It was it was it was a stressful yet fun time. Uh, <laughs> I've never I've never felt that before. Yeah, no, with my you never get you never get to say that like oh I was playing with exactly. toys for work. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's funny you mentioned that because as soon as I saw those photos, I was like, ah, Jay, I got so much to tell you. <laughs> I was like, I bet you feel like stress now where you're like, wow, this was stressful, but now I'm so happy. I'm so happy everyone. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the you get from that. That's true joy you get from knowing I put something out there that's going to possibly help people decide on something. Yeah. That's yeah. Really it is. Yeah. Yes. And we're, def- Thank we're, you. we're definitely going to be doing more of this in the future because these photos turned out great. And so, you know, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to spark any rivalry, but like D, you know, I'm, next time I'm becoming to you and I'm need you to go even further beyond. <laughs> so like I, so. I need a- any actual fire. I need them to move on their own. <laughs> <laughs> That's we a lot to ask. Listen, we all know I'm here for pushing things to the limit. And <laughs> the I have behind me, so I'll try to make something happen. Awesome. But no, you know, when he does listen. do it, you'll you'll have to – I don't know what you're going to have to do. When he gets it to work, what you asked for? Yeah. Sorry, David. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, uh, I did take a picture once with real fire, so you're in trouble. <laughs> oh. I'm looking forward to it, but no, you guys have done, done a lot of amazing work, and you know you've been very helpful just for like the, the community in general. So definitely thank you guys for that. Um, but speaking about figures, though, for each of you guys, and we'll, we'll start with Jay this time. Out of all copyrighted figures overall, every single one of them included. Oh no, here we go. I hate that question. What is your yeah. favorite? And you can only pick one. No, <laughs> I can't. I can't go specifics like renewal versus regular. No, you can. You can, but it's gotta be only okay. one singular right. figure. Wait, wait, oh, wait. category, or, or, or do we just get like one in general? <laughs> one to stand above all categories. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's okay. David right. is all right. David is okay. out all right. here. All right, all right. I, I will let you go by category. I, right. In the spirit of fun, you could go by category. <laughs> okay, so. So for renewal, I'm a little biased. This is a little biased for me because he's my favorite. Uh, David, you know, I already told you he's my favorite. And why? Uh, it's O's. Because look at it. Look, compared to the old, the old, uh, the first one, it's just way better. So much more improvement as far as proportion and everything like that. And then look at these joints. Like, I can't keep them. They're bad now. But I love this. is The renewal, O's is my favorite. Um, and then for the regular line, uh, he definitely snuck up on me, uh, kicked everybody else out of the way, and it's going to be shooting Wolf Vulcan. Oh. Just like he's very, his articulation is great, and then just look at his suit. It's it's Vulcan. Fool is best boy. <laughs> that's that's really good news because uh, t- people at Team Rider will know the the first two SHFs uh, for Comrade that I've ever purchased was zero one and shooting Wolf. Uh, I haven't opened them yet, but uh, I'm glad he's I'm glad he's great. That bodes well. He's I'm, a great so figure. So I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually surprised that it's still in stock on Bluefit. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, I don't think people, I don't, I don't think people knew about it, um, guys. Yeah. It's still available. Yeah. See, see, see. Mm. Look at that pose. Yes. Mm. I mean, I mean, that's, so yeah, that's what they're for. <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right, Darius. You have to pick your favorites, and I will allow you to separate by category. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Renewal, regular, P Bandai. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm good. <laughs> He's giving them an extra category. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we already know. Your boy. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Of course. yeah. Every, everybody knows my personal attachment to this. It's a long story short. 
you know, this is my guy. Whether it's Mighty Form, whether it's Ultimate Form, no matter what it is, I am 100% here for Kuga. I mean, if we ever get into what I would love about Kuga, I hope we get more of the Rising Forms. I hope we get Dragon and Pegasus. I'm buying all the Kuga. Everybody knows that. That's my regular <laughs> form. If we're going to talk about just the regular bodies, I was going to say Vulcan like him, but I just got in her role. And I got in. Mm. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, <laughs> if you thought you loved Vulcan, Hirobi is so much fun. Like <laughs> Tomorrow. I, just, I think tomorrow I'll get him in. I just recently reviewed Hirobi, <laughs> and you'll see that normally I take about 10 photos for a review. I think for Hirobi, I did close to 30 mm-hmm. that I put in the review. That's how much <laughs> I was like here for doing crazy stuff with Hirobi. That's my favorite normal release right now. I even also got Hyper Muteki in, and I'm like, this is really nice. And I, and I would love if it had a coat of hair, but they did so much as to include the extra set of hair so you can make it like a L'Oreal commercial, which is great. <laughs> but if, if we're going to like P Bandai releases, even like the normal ones, I like, dude, you know what? I'm going to be real. I got to get, I got to go with my boy Cross Magma. I got to. Oh, mm, yes. Like, yes. I love Cross Z in all his forms. So giving me Cross Magma is just like, listen, dude, I, I love that. I love that poem so much. There was a really cool photo I did, but I don't, I don't know what I did with it right now. But I have him just kind of sitting like a silhouette where it looks like burning behind him. And I, I, I love Cross Magma, dude. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I want to say, like, going back to, like, your Hirobi, I was watching, like, your review on it, and I love that you're like, oh, it doesn't stand all the way. And you were explaining the flat feet part, and then you stood it. And I was like, cool, because I know I was able to get it on mine. And I'm like, Nice, he found it too. <laughs> yeah. it nice part of that too because it, it uh, under the foot, they have. Uh, I've noticed that they do it with a lot of riders, uh, even on Kuga, and this is the renewal. You'll see the actual symbol on his foot, they exactly. Everything. So, even on Hiroki, mm-hmm. it's there like the actual schematic design of these riders are included even on the feet, and a lot of people don't give them credit for that. No, it's like it's really cool. Like, yeah. if we're gonna pick somebody, you're gonna see the design in my foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, like Vulcan's is the little paw print, and I love yeah. that about it. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna I, be I, printed on your face. Yep. <laughs> and then if you notice it for old, it's literally the three coin symbols, just like it's, yeah. it's dropped. <clears throat> nice. Now, now here's a question that I, I will require just simply one answer from both of you. <laughs> it's never that simple. I know, right? It's going to end up being expanded. No. Out of figures that currently do not exist for Common Rider, <laughs> what, what is your wish list for Common Rider figures that, that don't exist out here? <laughs> so, go, you want to go first, D? You about know he, he can't right now. He's got a lot to think about. I'm sure you have something. Okay, so uh, it doesn't exist. Yet. I don't believe it exists yet. It exists in the regular line, but I want a Shinkochu Seho Kamen Rider Birth. I love Birth. Oh. I love Date Akira. I love uh, I love when Goto got to, you know... Uh, spoiler alert. I'm not going to say nothing more. But Kamen Rider Birth. <laughs> uh, that's for another day. I, I, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, Kamen Rider Birth, Shinkochu Seho Renewal. I would love that. With the claw set, I would yeah. love that. That would be... That would be amazing. Uh, and make to have. release because it re- doesn't exist yet. Normal release. <laughs> normal release. Normal release. Yeah. Ah, normal. I'm putting that on the normal universe. release. Normal I don't. Release. Normal release. Like, and it, it would be great. Like, just like the claw set that originally happened is if it comes also with the just another can with the coins. Because uh, yeah, yeah. that's like my favorite part about the claw set. Yeah. So, gotta have those. Like, gotta have that. Like that coin. <laughs> I love the cell mm-hmm. and the little, little the little can droid. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, if so that's that's fine. Uh, normal release, I don't know. I, I really don't. Uh, <laughs> there's too many. I, I couldn't think. I didn't know we were doing, you know, that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> this question was just out of the blue. <laughs> yeah, you, you could also, you know, throw, throw some love for SICs. I mean, like, like for example, SIC, I want, I want an Omazeo. That would be amazing. Oh, that would, that would be crazy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, though? But you know what's crazy? Oh, so it's... that's your wish list. Yes. <laughs> I feel like Oma Zio wouldn't really change much of the design. That's how cool it is. It's just we're going to make them bigger and cooler and buffer. Yeah. No, I'm okay with that. Yeah. 
Oh, David's I'm, a simple I'm, man. You you I, know how David I, I, is. I'll upscale him and then this I'm fine. It's actually not true. They would give him a cool design like floating rod watches as an accessory. Woo! That would be oh. awesome. Now, mm. now, personal wish list. Also, make sure it, it, it comes with like a throne or something so that he can reign <laughs> over all other common writers. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. And, you know, one of the things that I like that um, uh, I, I know Shokugan did this, but um, I actually kind of want to see it done with other lines is the uh, the statue of Sogo, uh, you know, his, his first henshin. Yeah. I want that in something mm. bigger. You know. I was just looking at that yes last <laughs> I, night, and I was I like, "Man, it on, it's on eBay." I almost cracked last night. I, I got really, really nice size. It fits perfectly for SHF. Really? Yes, it actually works concurrently. It make, with SHF. You see, yeah, it makes it look on, like the statues. Because I was planning on doing um, taking uh, the uh, figure right standard uh, Heisei riders, and I was going to actually um, do a layer of concrete over all of them to make it look like the statues, and I, I wanted oh, to line man. them up and recreate it. That um, would be. That would be dope. Yeah, and so wish right. list would need to finish the rest of the figure I standards. Oh well, yes, <laughs> I, that's funny. I, I was talking to the, when I was talking to uh, our friends over at Banda Hobby. I was like, "Look, um, I don't know if you have an order you're releasing them in, but ignore <laughs> the order. I need you to go Gaim and Omazio, and then I don't care what happens to you." That's selfish. That's so selfish. <laughs> it's very. <laughs> But I'm glad he has. He knows what he wants. No, but yeah. because of what he wants, that's what makes it so much better. It's like, hey, I want this thing. I want to prove to you that this thing will work. And then once he proves it works, it's like, what are they gonna tell you? You know? Right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so, Darius, have we given you enough time? What, what, what is your <laughs> ultimate wish list? Yeah, You're true. not escaping this question. <laughs> I'll try to avoid it as long as possible. <laughs> yeah. But if we're being real, like if we're talking about with rules. And we're talking about like getting it. Uh, whew. We already know I want all the cougars. I guarantee that's going to happen. I'm not worried about that. Right. But I want to be normal release. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, it's tough because I'm like going in my mind, like, what would I really, really want? And I want stuff like, I want to be able to finish the rest of the renewals for Kabuto. But I think more important than that, mm. really, really, really really want renewals for fives because if, oh, if anything, imagine yes. imagine them, and, and i love the way the fives design is but i imagine them doing it so well that you would do it like the glowing stage version on a good renewal body imagine how cool that would be yeah. it, fives glows on the back right? your fly, like your fives can remove his uh driver to, to take out the weapon perfectly the combat yes. fives could light up like, oh my god, I would lose it. <laughs> yeah, because like the zero one also lights up under the black light as well. So the tech so it's there yeah. already. Just right. needs to That's happen. Awesome. So I can imagine yeah. five like that. And then imagine getting five's complete form with five's blaster looking because I love red, it's my favorite color. Yeah, yeah. So so five's blaster with his blaster just literally like going ham on you is oh nice. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, we will uh, let the powers that be <laughs> know this list. Now, I'm not saying that Oma Zio SIC will be the top of the list, but it may be on the list several times. I, I might go, hey, it was weird. Like Everybody on the stream said they wanted Oma Zio. That was crazy. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, It's just going to like bump down a little bit, so we'll but, get thighs, and then I, I, Oma will be lower. <laughs> Like honorable mention because I actually wanted him first, but I thought about eyes and it in my brain to, to make the words come out. G three, we need to finish the rest oh. of the team for Agito. Ah, uh, yeah. Because right now we only have Agito, and I would absolutely mm. for a G three, a Gills, and another Agito. But more importantly, mm -hmm. uh, why don't they do a set as G three and G three X armor upgrade? Do because you already showed that you can do add on parts, and you showed that you mm -hmm. can do comp. Yeah, yeah. Just imagine like you just get G three and G three X as a set. Come on, dude. That's a big one. I need that. I need that in my life. That's money. That's money right there. <laughs> Wait, everybody, share share this stream. Let's make this loud. What would you guys do if like the next announcements was exactly your wish list? Like that, uh, you know they'd you know hit what you what up. I would get on the live stream with you. I would thank Banda, and then I'd be like, hey, send yep. it to me. <laughs> 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 oh man, I, I just awesome. imagine how cool that would be because I, I would love to do awesome G three four. Like imagine doing a guard chaser chase photos on the bike, like a because uh, remember G three is a cop. Yeah, 
So I saw you know cool chase photos with the guard chaser taking his launcher out off his suitcase off the back of the vehicle. You do a ton of cool recreation photos. That would be amazing. Nice. Well, I uh, I pray that our wish lists all come true. Uh, AJ, do you have a a wish list? I think you guys have spoken a lot of pure volume about what should be. Uh, for me, it's not really a want. It's like it'd be nice. Is since just the announcement of Izu, it'd be kind of fun to now also have, you know, some of the female representation as well from right. you know past shows. Ooh. Like it'd be nice to have uh, the Bang Guy Queen. Yeah, or uh, like, what's her name from like Drive? It would be really good to have her. Yeah, especially yeah. by your drive. Oh, Kir- right? Kiriko. Yeah. 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 A lot so of stuff. Be- I, you know what? I didn't think about that. You're absolutely right. I think not, like not, ha- I think having some female representation, like especially in the writer stuff. Like they make part yeah, of the pop, writer too, and pop I think. Star Poppy. I mean, yeah. we're starting to have more of the of the the supporting cast that became writers, like even like Kamen Rider Mage, like when they yeah. were just on, like stuff like that. I feel like they they may feel like to us it's not important, but it is important. Yeah, yeah. And and we didn't even bother thinking about it because we we already dismissed that in the back of our brands, like oh we'll never get that, but we do want those things. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like with the current photos that was from Tomashi, you know, we had. A photo of Izu handing the briefcase over, uh, over the weapon. Yes, you know to zero one, and I'm really excited. I was like, "Whoa, we get a closed version of it. Yeah. That's really cool." You know, you can get some really good shots, man. You can recreate like the first, you know, first episode. Yeah. Right. Well, nice. so speaking of that, I was super happy that they um they posed her in her little jump drift pose. Yeah, yeah. Her little <laughs> drift pose. That was really so good. I, that was perfect. <laughs> Awesome. I thought that was I thought that was perfect. They did the slide in. It was like, oh, so you guys know, yeah. you guys. Really- <laughs> yeah. Now you know. Speaking of awesome <laughs> photos, how did you guys actually, you know, really get into doing photography? But like at the level you guys do it with, like the dioramas and the effects. Yeah, on. your stuff is like crazy. Like, how, how, how do you how do you one like think about that, and then two like how do you actually achieve that level of of photography? <laughs> it took me a long time. I'm stupid, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, in the sense of like, I had to sit down and really learn things with my camera because I don't, I, I don't know how to do the cool thing that Jay does with like add on with light, uh, with like right Lightroom and Photoshop. I can't do that stuff. Mm-hmm. So everything for me is like, uh, in sort of sense practicality. So like dioramas, mm-hmm. you see, they're literally right behind me. That's a giant clock tower, mm-hmm. and that's. <laughs> That was built for me because I like to build worlds around what I do. I like to set the scene. But it's also because I don't know how to artificially add that stuff on. I team up with people to make our art bigger than life. Like, I only got really good at photos because I took the time every day to go, how can I get better? How do I achieve something better? Not just having a clear photo, but how can I make something that people, with when I do something, it sets me apart from others. Not like in a bad way either. It's just... I want to stand out mm-hmm. and say, hey, this is my art. Please enjoy it. So that was my motivation for now. Wow, it's been a decade. I've been doing this. So compare, I mean, if I showed you a photo from then and showed you a photo now, it would literally be worlds apart different. Like we mentioned earlier with Cougar, I evolved to a point through my trials and tribulations, good mm-hmm. and bad, I've gotten here. Right. And I'm going to continue to do that. Nice, nice. And uh, Jake? Uh, yeah, so same with same with D, but opposite. So, uh, I don't say I don't know how to do so much stuff with my camera as well. Uh, but I do know how to manipulate by adding on. So uh, I've I just watch a lot of people on Instagram and stuff. I learn from them. Uh, definitely learn a lot from them. So like with D, with the stuff that he poses. If I don't know how to post something just right, I jump on his random lives on Instagram and ask the question like punch and pose go, and then he does it. So we I see it, and then uh, right now, yeah, yeah. Dude, he's really <laughs> good at the posing. Exactly. I, I, I've watched a lot exactly. of like his reviews, and I do think the posing really does matter a lot. And I know that uh, Darius is really good at making those poses. 
Like he does them on the fly really fast. Yeah. And there's been some times. Yeah, see, like, there you go. If you've ever seen our, you know, some of our figures at uh at trade shows back when um the world wasn't on fire. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes, you know, Darius will come to our booth and we'll open up the case, he'll just pose it for us real quick and you know, we have, we have an authentic that looks good. <laughs> like like yeah, that was that was better than what we did. Yeah. That was better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that I've been doing it for you guys. I'll keep doing it as long as you keep asking me. It was yeah. never an issue. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and it's awesome. Yeah, so that's yeah, so that's how that's how I learn my posing stuff. Uh, and then I don't have a lot of dioramas like D does. I just have you know bits and pieces. So I, I just try to add on to it, like maybe effects or uh, some atmosphere, uh, some other, like a little smoking in the backgrounds, and then light light uh, color change of bulbs, uh, doing that to give it more of a, a feeling like it's alive, especially when it's the tone of the writer or whatever it is. Uh, so definitely a learning process from when I first started. It was just a black background with the character to now where I'm doing, you know, more scenery, uh, more perspective stuff. Um, and yeah, I, like I said, I learn a lot from everybody on Instagram. Uh, definitely not, definitely not the best at what I do, but I love doing it. And they, they're amazing at it. So like Metallics, um, Nico, D, Chris, Rated R, Bushido Jones, amazing. Fignata, amazing photographers that I just, I learn bits and pieces from everybody and I try to incorporate it to make it my own thing. So that's, that's yeah. how, it, that's how it is for me. Also, don't sell yourself short. You're the best, like Khaled said. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> these photos yeah. kind of speak for themselves. Yeah, yeah you saying. guys do like, the, you like, with Jay, like you do like those glowing compound eyes and I love that so much about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, when you I'm do those shoots. Bad. Like those compound eyes, like that's like the best part of like common riders. Like though, like that's the helmet makes each rider so different. And yeah. then when you like when you add that effect extra, like on like Photoshop or like uh, mm. I don't know what other app you're using, but you know when you add it in there, it bumps up the level by like a thousand percent. And then for like da like for Darius, like you know you're you're on the spot like action scenes. I love all your action scenes because you know you've got like. A couple yes. of the shocker, you got a couple of the shockers, and then you have like, um, you had Deno doing like his kick and shot. And I was like, man, that looks so good. Like, it speaks in volume. Like, that's literally a scene, and I love that about your guys' work. Yeah, man, I like to be, uh, I like to take a lot of what inspires me and literally put it into the art. Like, I have a setup over here, which you mm -hmm. got, unfortunately, but it's like I was doing it in the live before we did all of this. Yeah. And I'm I'm literally it's balancing. I hope an earthquake doesn't happen because it's been balancing. For <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. It's like that's what I, that's the kind of stuff that I enjoy. It's like balancing and making it look crazy. It's just I believe in phototypes. Like being against all odds is what common writer is about. So doing those type of photos embodies that. Yeah, and one of our questions is like, how do you do those crazy effects? And I remember I messaged you one day about like, oh man, that scene looks so good. How do you have that jumping kick? But I see no stand anywhere, and you're like, "Oh, it's a hanger," and I was like, "I don't even see it. That's amazing." Like, yeah, like that's a great trick. It's just it's a good effect. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, All the flight stands. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what kind of advice do you guys give to people who are just starting out, like kind of like using like those kind of stands? Like, what what would you say to someone who's watching this right now and goes, "Man, I want to do that too." That's okay. me right now. <laughs> Real talk to, to everyone out there who is watching and wants to do this. Invest slowly. Don't rush into it. No, I'm going to tell you why. Because yeah. if you want to buy all the stuff, that's great. But then you'll get overwhelmed. So yeah. yep. my advice is if you do buy everything, take your time to learn your toys. Take your time to sit down and go, okay, how can I make this look cool if I just had this one thing by itself? Throwing it all together doesn't always give you the results you want. Sit down and, and be happy with kind of the stuff that, you know, you, you want to do. I think that, like, I know you guys see all this stuff behind me, but that's a combination of me doing this for 10 years. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're going to it right away. If you just want to start with Vulcan, who's available everywhere, both Bluefin and retailers. Let's say you want to start with Cool Vulcan. Yes. Right. This could be your standalone guy. He has not only a regular weapon that allows him to transform, he comes with a cool shotgun. That's true. He comes with like two accessory parts as well. So you can start with that because he has tons of hands, tons of accessories, and then you can go, okay, how can I make this guy look cool? Can he stand there? Does he want a shotgun? 
try to ask yourself exactly try to literally ask yourself one at a time what do i like about this and how can i make myself happy playing with this toy i think you should look more towards your happiness with the toy rather than like what else you can get out of it because if you're not happy with it what's the point if you continue to be happy across the board buying all the toys you're buying you have nothing to worry about because once you take pictures with it you'll be lost in the world of fun yep nice and uh, Jay, any, any any words of wisdom to, to to those who look to walk the same path as you? Yeah, let me get a pen and pencil uh, ready. I, I need to like learn yeah. this stuff. <laughs> so definitely let your imagination run wild, right? If if it means watching the show to get some type of an idea, because with my posing, sometimes I watch the show, I watch a scene, oh, I see yeah. how their their action and stuff, right? Watch a show, uh, play with your toys, right? Actually, just sit down real quick, and I, I got this from D. Uh, definitely uh and alive a while back play with your toys because most of the time while you're playing with it you get a pretty cool pose out of it and you're like oh wait time to take a picture so yeah uh have fun with it it's not it's not serious not super serious i mean you can make it serious but do you don't don't discredit yourself when you put stuff out on instagram and stuff like that yeah Uh, enjoy enjoy your work everybody will enjoy if everybody will enjoy if you're enjoying it because if you don't, mm-hmm. then what's the point of any of it, right? Um, and yeah, just learn, learn. There's a lot of a lot of places to get knowledge from, whether it be other photographers like us uh, going on YouTube for lighting tutorials and stuff like that. It's definitely a learning process. It's not going to happen overnight, unless you know you're you you wish on a star or something and it comes. To <laughs> you. But you know, that's right, right, definitely okay. Um, now, uh, before we go, uh, definitely, guys, can you uh, just uh, go ahead and do all the plugs? Like, tell everybody where to find you guys and what you're doing. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to go first or should I go first? You can go first. You can go first. All right, cool. Everybody knows <laughs> Thank you always for tuning in. Thank you for supporting this. I want to say thank you to the guys who asked me to be here, David and AJ. So thank you, for real. Jay, thank you for being on with me. I, I love you. So, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but most importantly, uh, as always, guys, I hope you guys learn from this. I hope you give Common Rider a try. Uh, shout out to Bandai for also giving us this space to do this, for real. Um, and uh, if you want to follow me, feel free to do so. I am D2 underscores amazing on Instagram. D-amazing.net is my website. And you can find me on YouTube and uh, Facebook under the Amazing Toys. Uh, as always, guys, please be good, do good, and drink your water. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that's, like, that's like equivalent to like when a writer does like their catchphrase. I love that. <laughs> right? Oh man. Uh so yeah. Uh thank you guys for having me. Thank you David, AJ, uh D. Thank you for bringing me on board. I'm super stoked. Uh, I can breathe now. Now that I'm, you know just talking to y'all. But <laughs> this is definitely a, a, a this is definitely a big milestone for me, I guess. Uh it it was awesome doing this. And like you said, it was stressful, but it was awesome. I love it. I love that everybody can see my stuff. Uh, I love the feedback I ever got from everybody. So if you want to follow me, I'm on Instagram uh, at J E Y M A D four T I N uh, on Instagram. It's right there on under my name right there. And then um, yeah, uh, I'm doing a giveaway promoting Heisei Week. So check it out. Awesome. Yeah, guys, check nice. him out. And uh, you know, you can see his photos here uh, as our schedule for the week. Uh, speaking of which, tomorrow, July 7th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will be doing Blade, Hibiki, Kabuto, and Dan O. Uh, I saw that good stuff. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> Don't uh, worry. <laughs> it's like only Blade doesn't have the Shinko. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's why he's in the corner looking away. <laughs> First of all, I, like, I don't want to miss so, any of these. That's what makes me so sad. I don't yeah. want to miss But, yeah. So uh, one thing I want to suggest, David, uh, when mm-hmm. you announce in each of the writers, announce it in the Decca Driver voice. <laughs> I, I love it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, AJ, I need you to record lines oh. for every single one. <laughs> I got I to gotta stutter a little bit when we get to Decade. Decade. Oh, man. But yeah, no. Uh, so tomorrow, if they come back, we'll have uh, the next decade, and Marco Satsu will be here. And uh, you know, just check out the schedule to find out, you know, what, which days you want to be here for. Which I'm hoping 
is all of them. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it will it will it will culminate on July 11th with the streaming of Hey Say Generations Forever on the Nerdist yes. channel. This is uh like the biggest platform Kamen Rider's ever had in America. Because yeah. uh, I mean this this is a big deal, guys. So definitely please show up. Um, looking forward to what this week brings. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be a good time. And uh, don't forget, you know we do have the sales going on. Uh, these are wall supplies last, and I can tell you. I mean, they're, they're extremely limited on some of these items. Like some of these is like, hey guys, we found like three of this thing. Like, let's, there let's, are deals on there. Put on a pressure, David. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> yeah, I like the, like like the, the ride along. Huh? Like, yes, well, the ride along, the black RX. That's a deal. Yeah, right that. There. It's, you're yeah, crazy it's to like not if, get it. it's if you have cool. like if you don't even have the Chider on too, like that's it's just as good. It doesn't matter. It's out of stock now. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, Someone that got the deal. Great. That's great, though. That was, that was, that was, I, should, I shouldn't have promoted it. I've been <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was one of those ones where, I, where it was like, hey, we got like three of these. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I thought about buying the bundle, even though I already own those, but I'm like, I'm so glad it didn't yeah. work. I like, I just want to <laughs> just in case. You never know. You never know. Definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. You just yeah. want to get like everything you can. Like, oh, like David has to get the Deno. I have to get a Deno. Yeah. Uh, actually, I, I probably have to get two because it's got two forms. So you do. Thank you, Thank you Darius. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate. Time, yeah, time time to bust it out again. Oh hey, my God. I, I think I think we should all just bust it out. <laughs> like, oh. what, are you, what are you doing, David? Like, oh, it, it comes full circle back to Deno. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, man. It is really, it is really a good figure, though. It, it is. is, and you know, if you if you really love that, you know, if you're really about that Deno life, we have the Deno uh, 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 logo stand. Acrylic stand, yeah. And These then we also stand. those acrylic stands are about like what, like this, like four inches wide, like yeah, two inches, like they're thick. They're thick yeah. yeah. And we also have we have this is also <laughs> available too, uh, while supplies last. Oh, so twenty we, person, yeah. So if you haven't got one, now is a good time to pick it up, and. Last but certainly not least, don't forget, Common Rider sure Apparel is. is here, guys. It's here in American sizes. <laughs> you choose your colors. Uh, and once the world stops being on fire, you'll be able to get these things within two days of ordering. You know, so be <laughs> rather than rather than that priority stuff. <laughs> yeah, but right, but even now, right now, you know, you should everyone should start having the shirts in about a month from now. So, <laughs> um, but definitely, guys, uh, thank you guys for coming on. To the live stream, we definitely appreciate it, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody uh, tomorrow for uh, for day two of Heisei Week. Uh, until then, have a good day, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Later. Bye.